Welcome to the Tanya Hoffman's Fabulous TV Show. I am your host, Tanya Hoffman. And like always, I have an amazing, fabulous guest star. And today is super fabulous because we have Katrina Sala. Hey, Katrina. Hey, Tanya. <laughs> so we're going to hear from Katrina in just a second. But right now, I want you to think really hard for a minute. Mm. What would you love to do? Would you love to go out and get your message heard and change people's lives? I want to help you with that. So go check us out at public speakers with an S association, all spelled out, dot com to find out how you too can get involved and market yourself and change those people's lives today. All right, so let's get over to Katrina. So Katrina, what do you got going on? I'm so excited to hear. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, oh my gosh, you know, I've got a whole year full of events and virtual things. It's an exciting year. I love, uh, I always tell people, if you can't find stages to be on, just create your own. <laughs> Not that I can't find stages, I'm just saying, but they're less, few and far between sometimes, you know, and unless you really have uh, an eye on the ball and you're really booking like crazy. I have one client who's booked 64 gigs already um, and she's looking to book 120 by the end of the year. Um, I don't, I'm not that, I don't know. I'm just, I haven't pushed that hard this year for that yet. So I'm just doing my own stuff virtually. I want to spend more time at home. I know. I, I find that people, when they, they're like, get excited, they're like booked up and they're like just running and running and running and running. And then by the end of that year, they're like, okay, I don't want to do that again. <laughs> that was me last year. So I went to, at towards the end of the year, last fall, I was at six different three day events some speaking, some attending in six cities in six weeks. Oh my uh, and the last one, thank God, was like a beach retreat because <laughs> I pretty much just laid on the couch and the beach the whole time and I got sick. I mean, I had literally had a cold and uh, it, was, it was actually horrible, but it was perfect. It was better than being in a conference room while I was sick that last one. But yeah, yeah. it was not fun. So yeah. I think always people, they glamorize travel, right? And yeah. Not that much fun, y'all. <laughs> no. And uh, don't get me wrong, I, some events are amazing to go to and others are just okay. And you know, some you go to because you're speaking and you're looking to get clients. Some you're look, like a lot of them last year, I looked to learn things. So I w actually targeted a few different conferences to learn new things in my business. Cause yes. let's face it, online marketing and social media is, and podcasting and new media stuff like this we're doing is so important. So you gotta stay on the cutting edge of this stuff. Exactly. Yeah. It, and I always find going to events and it's about also spreading and making sure that you're giving yourself some self love. Right. Um, but there's so beneficial because you get to meet people in person and you get to really dive in. Um, and I like separating myself from my office because then it makes me think about things versus yeah. kind of sitting there watching a video or something. Yeah. You do need to get out of your office. I say at least once a quarter and that's a good amount of travel. If you're a real, right. if you're a speaker who has to travel a lot more then that's fine. It just depends on your home life. You know, I have my, my little one, you just turned nine years old and last month she said I was going away for just two days. Right. And it happened to be the two days that we had her. She's my stepdaughter. So we only have her half the time. And she said, Oh, but you're always gone. And I'm like, wait a minute. Whoa, that totally hit me right here. Right. <laughs> and she never usually cared that much. You know, I'm a new stepmom as of like four or five years. And so she hasn't cared that much. Now she's starting to care that I'm gone. And oh man, that broke my heart. So yeah. <laughs> I know, even my 14 year old, he's like, you know, clueless. He seems like, you know, all he wants to do is go to his room and, you know, play on PlayStation or on the computer or do some graphics or something. But then when I'm like, okay, this week, you know, I'm going to be out of town for two days. And he's like, oh, you are? Well, you know, okay. Um, you know, and you realize that, yeah, there is that security that mommy's here, you know, so you have to do think about those things. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I so tell you. When you're, I mean, because you put on amazing events. I love your events. And everyone, please definitely go to Katrina's events because they're amazing. Um, you really focus on really kind of workshop type, you know, where you get in there and you dig in and you actually, you know, accomplish things. And I think that's what I really love about kind of one of your approaches is that everything you do from your clients to your conferences is about really getting things accomplished. 
Yeah. Well, who has time? We don't have time to sit around and just blab about stuff. Let's just actually do it. So I'm all about getting stuff done, uh, teaching the how, you know, a lot of times, uh, at events, you don't get the how, you get the what and the why, which is important, but I want to use my time wisely. When I'm out of town, I want to really, you know, when I, when I went to a conference, I really want to get something done. So I don't want to just take notes that I'll never look back at again, right? I have plenty of notes. Let me just say, <laughs> I just came back from one. Here's my notes, right? So <laughs> then what do you do? They sit on the thing until you actually do something with it. So I have a very full workbook and it has checklists and samples and uh, scripts of things to say and send and email. And so people really do get a lot of good value. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate that. And you're an amazing speaker. When you come, you light up the room and people love you. And I know we always get new people to join the Public Speakers Association. And you got to join if you're not a member yet, please. Because you get, well, number one, there's fabulous people like us, but because uh, no whiners allowed, right? And <laughs> But you get lots of opportunity. Tanya goes out of her way to give speakers opportunities, like sharing our, our information here on her show and various places. I mean, it's the one organization that probably gives me the most exposure ever for a very nominal fee considering what you get. So I'm just a little plug there. <laughs> appreciate that, appreciate that. <laughs> yeah. So when you start really looking at, you know, a lot of times the people that you're meeting, um, what's like one of the big things that seems like they're always missing in their business? Hmm. Systems. Like, <laughs> Besides. Yeah. I know you and I have had that conversation. You're like, really Tanya, where's your system? I'm like, um. <laughs> you're much better these days you have forms and pages for everything now which is really good because you realize it's just too much manual labor chaos if you don't in the back you've got things you have to manually enter and move from here to there and that's chaos you got to have systems the right technology it doesn't have to be expensive technology you're just gonna have the right stuff for your business which can allow you to get in front of a lot more people so the reason for systems is number one, your own sanity, but uh, an organization, but to get in front of more people because most people are not marketing to enough people, plain and simple. You're not talking to enough people. I don't care how many speaking gigs you get or where you go in conferences, you're not following up. You're not doing a lot of the database marketing you need to do is, and getting in front of enough new people and a systems can help you do that. So I'm yeah. super passionate about that. <laughs> I was just talking to a lady and she's like, oh, I, I talked to three people and only one of them bought. I'm like, actually, that's really good odds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. that's good. <laughs> right. And people always think that everybody that they talk to is just going to magically go, oh my gosh, you're exactly what I'm looking for. No. Um, and it's just about getting out there and then hitting that, you know, kind of that pain point when that person needs it. Yeah. It's finding a hundred percent of the right people. Not everybody is the right person for you, for sure. Mm -hmm. I know, because when you look at systems and everything, because we've um, laughed about this so many times, you know, for me, a lot of it was trying to figure out how to kind of connect it all logically in my head so that I could implement something. And I think a really, it's really important to find someone like yourself to help people see what they're missing. Because a lot of times there's like a step there. You're like, oh, that's what I was not figuring out, right? Yeah, I am good at finding those holes and those opportunities and I see things in systems. So somebody talks about their program or somebody talks about their business and I'm like, okay, so you have this hooked up to that and this goes over here and da, 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 da. And in my brain, I'm seeing this visually. And sometimes people are like, have no idea what that means. So not everybody thinks like I do, which is, that's why you need somebody like me in your life to make sure you're do, 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 do so that you can have a smooth running money making machine of a business. We don't want a roller coaster. Those aren't fun for cash flow and for paying bills and for not stressing about money. And uh, stress about money is one of the biggest things I see with entrepreneurs and speakers is they're constantly, oh my God, I need to pay my mortgage or oh my God, I wanna have my event, but I don't know if I can afford to do the room rental now or whatever. And so you can't, you have to get to a place where you have that consistent revenue. So that it's like, huh, okay, so my bills are paid, everything's good. Now I just need to be able to and create or serve or create the new thing or give back or go on vacation. What a concept, right? <laughs> Uh, exactly. Yeah. What vacation? What? What's that? Right. <laughs> yeah. 
you know, and a lot of times we got to look at um, the connections, you know, you and I, you know, I just connected you to a lady. It's important about letting people know about each other. Don't keep yourself or the people that you're connected to a secret from each other, you know, build relationships. Right. And, and people think, okay, so this is a really important topic because sometimes people think, okay, well, so-and-so knows what I do. Why aren't they just referring me? Well, the only way that I usually refer people is if I'm on a phone call with them or a Zoom call like this, and we're actually talking about what each of us needs, who we need to be connected with, which sparks the things in my brain to go, oh, connect her with Janet. Oh, connect her with Steve. Oh, connect her with so-and-so. And then I'm on the Facebook or the email right then and there connecting. And then as soon as we're done with the phone call, poof, I'm on to the next thing. Because as soon as you are done with that phone call, poof, you're on to the next thing. And if you haven't done it right then and there, it's not going to get done. So for the most, for most people, right? So you've got to figure out, this is why I do a lot of collaboration calls and you do too. You're really good at this and why I became national uh, collaborator of the year one year at PSA, but uh, it's about getting people on the phone. I know you think, Oh, I'm too busy. I don't have time, but you know what? The next person you talk to on the phone could land your next big deal or give you a referral to your next best client. So you got to get that stinking thinking out of your head and make sure that you do more of those calls because the opportunities are endless when you get in those situations. Oh yeah. And you know, sometimes the best thing is just to randomly choose someone to talk to, you know, message them on Facebook, you know, connect with them and get on the phone. Cause like you said, it, it is the way of, where you actually build relationships and take something to the next level. So I know you have an amazing offer that you would like to give our listeners today. Well, I would love to see one of any of you at my live events, and I know they're not always the easiest to get to uh, my live events if you're if you don't want to travel as much, right? But they're really super juicy, and you can go to livebigevents.com to find out when they all are. Uh, there's a whole list of them there. All the dates are there for the year, livebigevents.com. So yes, they're a paid thing, but um, there's a whole bunch of free stuff on my website too. So if you want to go check me out for free first, I always tell people, you know, free first, then pay. What can you do for free to get people to like and trust and connect with you first? There's a whole free training page under my resources. You can go look at a couple audios and depending on the topic, even I talk about speaking, I talk about love yourself successful in my book. I talk about uh, really revenue generating activities. There's a lot of different things on there. Um, but the biggest thing I think is if someone is really needing some advice today, okay, like you need to make a decision on whether to go with this shopping cart or this email service or to, to do this program or that program or how to develop a program or this speaking topic or that or how to develop it or whatever it is you're doing. I do a monthly masterclass. It's two hours of me and open coaching and laser coaching on Zoom like this. And uh, you know, the last one I did was about, uh, and it ranged from six people to 12. People were coming in and out for the last two hours. And they get the answers they needed and the clarity and the focus and the direct path and the next steps. And it's, it's only $79. So I mean, you could go there, but I'm gonna give anybody who listens to this audio a free ticket. So you can go to jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash masterclass comp, like comp ticket, C-O-M-P. So jumpstartyourmarketing.com forward slash masterclass comp. And you can pick whatever day you want, uh, want to come. And that's once a month every uh, throughout the year. And you just sign up and then it'll ask you which day you want to attend. And you mark it on your calendar and you come. So it's free. But I don't offer that for free anywhere. <laughs> In fact, that's the first time when you said this, I was like, oh, I need to give PSA people this. Nice. All right. I'm going to take advantage of that. So you better also so okay. jump on that right now <laughs> and take advantage because, you know, this is like what everything is all about is not just being a part of what, you know, Katrina's doing, but also just getting to know her as well. So. Yeah. And then call her if you've got an event coming up. I mean, hello, she's been an MC. She's been a speaker of mine almost every year at my conference. That's how amazing she is. Thank you. Uh, right. All right, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. And remember, next time, you will also find another fabulous guest star. Maybe not quite as fabulous as Katrina, but <gasps> <getting> close. <laughs> Thanks, Katrina. Bye, everybody. Mm -hmm.